What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy D-Wiz, and I'm back with another video, man. He probably tried to go to some time, I'm gonna lie to y'all. But it's, it's, it's mining. It's mining. So it's like, ain't nothing. But, y'all see the title of this video, man. It's not me. It's not me. But if it was me, I wouldn't be afraid to tell y'all about that. Straight up, I've been going through heartbreaking shit. If y'all know me personally, y'all know I've been through them before. This is not me. I'm, t I'm talking to my boy. I'm talking to my boy. I'm not gonna say his name, but hey, my boy. I love you, man. Hey, everything gonna be alright, but I'm telling you straight up, straight from the heart, man. This is the best for you, man. On some real shit. All my viewers out here that clicked on the vid, how to deal with a heartbreak, man. I, I, ain't, you know, I ain't gonna sit here and be no love doctor, cause I'm not one. I'm not no love doctor. I do not know everything about being in love. Yada yada that third, what to do, what to say, this that shit third. But I'm gonna tell y'all straight how out my rule book on what I, how I deal with this shit. If I was to go through this shit, y'all probably heard this shit many times. That self love is the best love. Nobody gonna love you like you love yourself. This that third. But in my eyes, that shit not true. It's true to an extent, but like. You don't get the same feeling from loving yourself as in another person loving you, you know what I'm saying? And you don't get that same feeling from somebody showing you love and you feeling that love for them, then you loving yourself and doing shit that make you feel happy, you know what I'm saying? It's just two different types of love, you know? Love is a strong as drug. Love is a strong as fuck drug that everybody gets addicted to, whether it be you got love for an item, love for a person, love for a food, love for activities. Everybody got some type, so everybody loves something in some type of way. Think of your best activity or item or thing that you like to do to pass time and they just take it away from you. They just take it away from you or they ban it from you. You can't have it no more. And then now you're going through withdrawals. Why? Because you love that item. Love comes in many different shapes and forms and shit. You love a person and that person doesn't love you like you expected them to, I guess, or that person doesn't love you anymore like they did, so you're not getting that same feeling and you got complacent to that feeling that they gave you. It's kind of hard to deal with. It's kind of hard to sit down and go through, but my boy, don't ever, ever in your life let anybody tell you, boy, it's not hard to cry. I, I don't give a fuck how manly you think you is or how much of a bad bitch you think you is. Don't ever let nobody tell you it's not hard to cry, man, because gotta let it out that's a way of releasing so much stress if it's bothering you it's bothering you we all human we got emotions bro you're not a fucking robot if it's bothering you it's bothering you bro let that shit out who the fuck who the fuck sitting here getting getting impressed like oh he never cries come be realistic man let that shit out that shit bothers you to the point where you gotta cry shit you gotta cry it's not embarrassing and you think it's embarrassing and you want a different type of time and i don't want you around me on some real shit if you think crying is a way of weakness. Get the fuck out of here. We don't need you around here, bro. On some real shit. It takes a strong individual to sit there and be like, they to sit there and know that they had they had enough and they all right with that. They, they all right with releasing that 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 bad energy that they don't want anymore. So if you ever going through anything that's breaking you down to a point where you feel like you just lost all hope, you don't know what to do. Just let it out, man. It's all right. I promise you it's all right. I don't know how many times I cried since I joined the military. On some real shit. I cried so many times because I miss my people. I miss my boys. I miss this, that, third. You don't know how many times I done cried in this bitch, man. In this very room right here. Um, you see in my eyes, I ain't been crying lately, but I'm I'm down. I ain't gonna lie. But I'll be all right tomorrow. I'll probably be all right next week or some shit. I'll be all right. I ain't been feeling it myself. That's why these days is coming kind of late, man. Cause I, I gotta be in the mood to record, but I was sitting there, I was laying down in bed. I was, look my bed all fucked up. I've been laying down in bed, just thinking about this shit. And I was like, man, I know I ain't the only person going through some shit like this. So I gotta let my niggas know. I gotta let y'all boys know, man. It's all right to cry. I love y'all. This is like a little touch up topic. If y'all want me to go more in depth into this heartbreak shit, man, or how they cope with a heartbreak, or how they like to deal with, different type of depression or anxiety and stuff like that. Just let me know. Hit me on my Snapchat or whatever. If y'all don't got my Snapchat, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But y'all need my, if y'all hit me on Snapchat on song, I need to talk to that shit, man. I'm here for y'all boys. And no matter who you are, bro. It don't matter who you are, I listen to you. I am on different time zones. You gotta understand I'm 13 hours ahead of you guys. Like that is a thing that plays a part into why I cannot respond to everybody that's on the state side. But I 
I'm talking about best, man. I love y'all boys. Y'all stay ill. Y'all just keep, keep that motivation pushing. I'm coming at you with y'all boys, man. Hey, I'm going to just keep it a beam with y'all boys. It's all right to cry. Be real, I'm sorry about this bitch. I can't live with a band, man. Y'all boys stay doing that due diligence. So y'all saw I'm going to do the same shit on mine. I love y'all boys and nobody like I never band. Peace out. And another thing. Another thing. Y'all boys, take a break from social media, man. Take a break with social media. Delete Facebook, delete Snapchat, delete Instagram, delete TikTok. Take a break with social media because at the end of the day, it ain't doing nothing but, but, but betraying this perfect image of a relationship. Not all relationships are perfect. Not all relationships are that happy, smiley, bullshit. Delete social media. Take a break. Take a little cleansing. Come on with yourself, man. Play the game. Shoot, listen to music. Do what you got to do to understand that not everything going to go how social media pictures it. You know what I'm saying? Once you realize that, boy, you'll be up. A1 individual. But yeah, I'm out of this bitch like another band.